in, with some of the tech hearings we've had this year, people in Washington get a rep for not understanding how some of the, these platforms work, but actually DARPA has done so much of the work on innovation that we see um, coming out of the, the tech sector. And, and so I just wanted to ask you, what are some of DARPA's priorities right now when it comes to technology? Sure, so, so DARPA's portfolio right now is <coughs> addressing sort of four core mission areas. Uh, first is to defend the homeland, so we're looking there at uh, weapons of mass destruction, weapons of mass terror, de technologies defend against that, de technologies defend against cyber defense. There's um, deter and prevail against uh, peer adversaries, so there we're looking to leverage complexity and uh, new technologies to surprise the adversary, there are peer adversaries across uh, multiple domains um, that have expanded to include space and cyber, uh, in, in addition to land, sea and air. Uh, and then there's uh, effect technologies to allow us to effectively uh, prosecute stabilization, stabilization efforts, so uh, technologies that allow us to do peacekeeping and other missions in complex urban environments uh, against uh, gray, uh, hybrid warfare and gray zone tactics, those sorts of things. And then the, the final mission area is foundational R&D that supports all of these mission areas in a broad spectrum of technologies that includes artificial intelligence, um, quantum, sensing, simulation, computation, new mathematics, uh, new materials and manufacturing, um, new, design, new approaches to design, new computational approaches. So that, those are sort of our four uh, core um, areas that, that our, our portfolio across the agency are organized against. And so you mentioned AI. Could you tell us a little bit about the $2 billion Next AI initiative that DARPA sure. has launched and how that will be allocated? So DARPA is actually celebrating its uh, 60th year of existence uh, this year. And uh, two months ago at our uh, conference to celebrate that achievement, our, our director announced our AI Next campaign, which is a $2 billion commitment over the next five years to invest in uh, advancing uh, the state of AI technology. Uh, we have been investing in AI since the inception of the field, almost the entire time of our existence. And we have laid, over the, over the course of, our, of the existence of that, those investments, we have laid foundations for a number of technologies that uh, we're all familiar with today, uh, Siri, uh, um, driverless vehicles. And our, the, the intent and with this new announcement is uh, to continue to, bu to build on what is already a very robust portfolio. We have over, right now, 80 programs that are either looking to advance the state of AI or leverage AI in, in a broad uh, range of technologies. So we're going to look to, to supplement that uh, in a way that really takes us to the, what we consider the third wave or next generation of AI technologies, which will really transform, uh, we believe, uh, machines from being tools to more collaborative partners to augment human performance. And how much does DARPA collaborate with private sector technology companies on its AI work? Uh, we collaborate where it makes sense to do so. We certainly have ongoing conversations and engagements uh, with, the, with the industry. In, in many cases, however, we have uh, performance requirements that are different from what the, the, the industry, uh, the, you know, the um, Facebooks and the Googles and the uh, Am uh, Amazons and other, tech, uh, other uh, industry, large industry investments are targeting. So where, where we need to make investments are in uh, areas where we can uh, advance the technology so that it is more robust, reliable, uh, trusted for DOD specific and national security uh, areas.